What's up, YouTube's PCC in here. First of all, yes, for those of you who are wondering, I am using my real camera for this. Um, you know, I've said this before, I just don't like to edit the video in with the computer that I can edit with because it's in the very middle of, well, it's, it's in the um, family room and I just don't, I prefer to be alone when I edit, so. But right now, I am home alone, so. I might be able to get this one pulled off. But, anyways, I wanted to show you guys two Zippos. I've shown these before, uh, but I didn't really get very good um, quality shots with them, I guess if you could say. Uh, I want to actually get up close and macro in on some of the details so you guys can better see it. And so, yeah, um, that's why pretty much I'm doing this video. So, these here are my two latest Zippos, both of which I sh I've shot both of their videos with my iPod instead of um, this camera so uh, yeah I wasn't really able to get very uh, detailed shots so hopefully I'll be able to do a little bit better with this one so well, without further ado let's go ahead and get into it let's start with this one let's scoot that one over there this one here is my Motsi 8 ball here is the um, this you can see it's model 218 Motsi 8 ball and here it is, and up close. And like I mentioned, well, here, let me just show you this. It's basically what it is. For those of you who don't know, in fact, you can read it on the back of this. Motsi is an airbrush artist. All right, this stuff up here doesn't really matter for anything. So, But this stuff right here, if you want to read that, go ahead. Uh, he's an airbrush artist, and uh, he does designs for Zippos. And so that means that this is actually an airbrush design. He painted this with airbrushes, which is amazing. Now, I think this signature might have been digitally applied. I do not think that's actually an airbrush thing, although maybe he, I don't know, I think that's a actual thing he applied after, uh, you know, digitally and such. Um, so that's, that as you can see, it's just some um, pool balls and such. I got this on the beach trip I was at with my cousin and his family a few weeks ago. We didn't do anything related to pool there. It's just I wanted to get a Zippo so that way I would have one from there that I could use as a souvenir type thing. And I suppose that this is good enough, although it really has nothing to do, like I said, it really has nothing to do with anything we did there. So, whatever. It's pretty cool though. As you can see, it's on a nice black matte finish. Very smooth. It's not like sort of inconsistent like my other black matte Zippo, which I've actually lost. Uh, I do not know where it is, um, has sort of a shiny, random shiny spots in it, I guess, I don't know, I guess that's because it's been used uh, a little bit. But something I found very interesting that I wanted to point out is, look at this bottom stamp. A, it's not canned. B, it's got a very strange finish, like, my other black, uh, yeah, my black matte Zippo that I have that's plain black matte has a uh, I guess it's a gold dust finish under there. I mean, you know, it's like street chrome, but it's it, basically what gold dust is. It's street chrome except done on a brass zippo. That's when it's called gold dust. But yeah, but this has a very. It, it's not high polish. It, I don't know why you describe it, but it's also not canned. So I'm wondering if maybe there's just a bunch of. If this is just a. Ha, went through the press sort of wrong. It did get that stamp on there semi clear it was made in February of last year um, actually that's a very crisp stamp so but yeah it's not canned and I do not I could not tell you what that finish is and just for those who are wondering here is the insert I can pull it out <clears throat> the insert was made in um, ABCD is April of last year so yeah that's that one. So, that is the Motsi 8 ball. I definitely like it. Um, it's pretty cool. So, there you go. Hmm. Don't know what that is. Oh, it's gone. Okay, so that's it for the Motsi 8 ball. It's pretty neat. I like it a lot. My first ever Motsi Zippo, so it's pretty neat. Okay, actually, I'll leave this uncovered like that. We'll move on to the next one. Okay, so this one here, I actually do not have a sticker because 
I ordered this from Bylighters Now on Amazon, and I really like them. They're really good. They have fast shipping and really good service, customer service, even though I've not had to use it yet. You know, I'd imagine it's pretty good. But for some reason, they took the sticker off the back of this box. But I can tell you that it's the Model 2. Well, I think it's 21949. I think that's the model number of this. I'm. I couldn't tell you for certain, but I think it's two, one, or two. No, it's two four nine four nine. I think it's two four nine four nine. But I don't know. Anyway, it's one of those. I'll probably have it in. Uh, I'll probably put it down somewhere. I don't know. Anyways, I wanted to give you guys a closer look at this one because I had a hard time showing off the detail when I made this video. So here we go. As you can see, this is the Meadow Ice Zippo, by the way, that's the model name. It is a Meadow Zippo, actually it's a Meadow Ice World. Um, it's a Meadow Zippo, but it's got the world on it. And you might be able to better see it. There's kind of a glare going on here. Maybe if I killed that light, let's just try that. I don't know if that'll help or not. Alright, let's see if maybe that eliminates that little glare we got. Uh, a little bit. There, that glare's from the lamp, which needs to be on. So, uh, But, uh, yeah, as you can see, it's... Um, basically what this is, is a street chrome Zippo under here. Okay? With the world laser etched inside of there, a map of the world, and something interesting about this Zippo, you don't see this on a lot of Zippos. Um, usually Zippo doesn't do this, but on this one and similar lighters, they do do it. They actually have the design on both the front and on the back. There is the design continued on the back, which is really cool. My first ever Zippo that does that. Um, so yeah, I'm thinking we might need to get that overhead light turned back on. But as you can see, it's been laser, and laser etched in there. And then they dipped it in whatever this green stuff is. People tend to say when they make videos on it that it's a rubbery fit, it's a rubbery coating. But I beg to differ because it feels kind of rubbery. Uh, like it feels grippy like it would be like it is rubber, but if you take your fingernail and run it along there, it's really really smooth. It doesn't tr it doesn't even try to grip your fingernail. It's just like glass when you rub your fingernail on there. So, uh I I guess it's just plastic. It's just got a bizarre, a really smooth, bizarre texture to it, which is really kind of nice. Um, so, yeah. <clears throat> um, one thing I did notice, I don't know if this is my fault or if it's the, the way it was when I got it new. And I don't know if you're going to be able to see this. You might need to get really close because I can't even see it. Um, can you... Uh, sort of. You see... Right, you see that sort of where the light is kind of going off in two lines right there? Those are scratch marks. Um, there's two scratch marks right here. Uh, and if I take my nail, you know, I can feel them. Can you hear it? Probably not. But, yeah, it's just, it's got two little scratches right on the lid there, which kind of sucks, but what can you do, right? What can you do? Anyway, there's a real close-up of that um, world finish. As you can see on the bottom stamp, you can see that it is indeed a street chrome. H of, la of uh, 2010, actually. I thought this is a new design, but it's not. It's actually, must be fairly old, because, you know, it's a 2010 lighter, obviously. Um... What is that? I think that's August. That is August. Yeah. I've been really getting my dates confused lately. Um, but yeah, it was made in August of 2010. That is really cool. That's older than my um, first ever Zippo, actually. And the insert here was made in September of 2010. I was thinking I was October for a little while. I tend to get those things confused. Um, but yeah, the insert, as you can see right there, it was made in September of 2010, which is really kind of cool. I was thinking this is a fairly new design 
because I only saw it for the first time this year, but I guess, you know, Zippa has so many designs out there that, you know, it could be any age. I mean, so I don't know, whatever. Any hoozles. Just, um, really cool lighter. Definitely one that I'd recommend. Um, if you want, uh, you can get just, hang on, let me get, yeah. If you want to get just a Meadow Zippo, you can. Those do exist. Um, that's really kind of nice looking there. Uh, anyways, yeah, you can get just the Meadow Zippo. They also have this in a, um, I think they have a lot. I think they actually offer a lime green. I don't know if they offer it also with uh, designs under it, but I do think that they have a, a, you know, this sort of similar texture, this similar finish, but it's in a lime green. I I do not. I couldn't tell you what that's called, but I do think I've seen that. Um, they have it in. Um, I don't think you can get it in plain, but you can get it in. I think they call it caramel or caramel, whatever, however you want to say that. Um, you know, a, a caramel color type thing that you can get that with the BS Bulletle and there's the the Buddha Zippo also has that um, it's basically a Zippo with a Buddha on it but it's got that um, same color you can also get it I'm sure you've heard of the candy apple red Zippos I'm looking to get one of those I'm really excited to get one of those but you know I'm trying to save my money for uh, certain stuff for stuff right now but you know eventually I'm gonna get one of those and there's another one it's blue but I do not think you can get it in just plain blue I it it, the, the lighter is, it comes with a design, like, there's not just plain, I think it has a design, even if you do, whether you want it or not, it's good that it's a cool design, but, you know, you can't just get it in the straight blue, but, I couldn't for, I, like the lime green one, I couldn't tell you what it's called, um, actually, you know what, the brown one is called toffee, it's a toffee color, that's what it's called, that's, that's what that one's called. So anyway, yeah, you can get those, so yeah, and there might be a yellow, I think there might be a few other colors, but the main color, the main finishes you're going to see is the blue one, the metal one, and the candy apple red. Those are the most common ones, and I'm look. I'm wanting, one day I'm going to own all of them, but we'll see. Also, I would like to mention, I've officially decided that, or initially I'd said I wanted to get all the colors of the rainbow and matte zippos, well, as it turns out, some of the matte colors like the matte green do not satisfy me in that point. I do like the matte green Zippo, it's just not a bright, vibrant green. So, I'm going to count this as my green Zippo, and I'm just going to get all the colors of the rainbow in just Zippos. <laughs> um, but they're going to be mostly, you know, solid color faced Zippos, so yeah, that's going to be my new thing. So, we'll see how that goes. Anyway, that's it. I don't know how long this video is, but thank you for watching, and adios, and also, uh, I was going to do an unboxing video today, but as it turns out, the box isn't here yet, so I guess you're going to be looking forward to that tomorrow, or today, whenever I end up uploading this. Anyway, thanks for watching.